Hello. <clears throat> I'm adjusting cameras here and there. Uh, good afternoon. Hello, 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. Uh, sorry for the delay. 안녕하세요. Uh, as always, we have cameras here and here. So here is Instagram. Hello, Instagram. This is uh, YouTube. 안녕. Yes, 안녕. 안녕하세요. I hope it's not too late or not too early for, for your time zone. Uh, Korea, South Korea now favorite first. 6 7 p.m. now in the afternoon. Uh, we normally do live streaming, uh, live streaming in the morning time, like 10 a.m. or 9.30. Hello, hey, please. Uh, Another error. That's good. That's good. How are you? <laughs> no problem. No problem. Because, uh, you know, as I uh, told you guys today, we are going to invite one of the students at Dongguk University. And uh, yeah, because I guess because the snow and then, as always, the university is on the top of the mountain. That's why she was a little bit, a little bit late, a little bit like Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about it. So she just came here uh, uh, in front of me. So I'm going to invite her very soon. Very soon. Take your time. Okay, let me just. And, you know, culturally, uh, culturally, actually, we have like Korean time. So what it is, is that maybe you, when you come to Korea, you meet and you have a, like appointment with your friends. Normally, not everyone, a few, a few percentage, they are being late for 10 minutes. The 10 minutes is, uh, you know, Korean time. So I hope, you know, you understand the cultural background. Uh, so, so actually you came early, it's 2.39, so you came early. Okay. So. Uh, this is Eddie from Gogo Hanguk, and uh, today, as I told you guys, I'm going. I will invite uh, one of the students from the Dongguk University. I know you guys give uh, have given me uh, some questions, so I answered a couple of things before, and uh, uh, some of them actually I'm gonna ask her directly, uh, so that she can answer you back. Uh, you know, she's studying here. How many months? How many? Six months, almost six months. Okay, good, very good. So I guess it's it's good time, good time. And as always, if you have any questions, you know, related to the to the Dongu or life in Korea, or her experiences or anything related to studying Korean in Korea, uh, feel free to always put in here. Uh, thank you for understanding. Uh, put it here so that I can get back to you uh, now or later. And as always, you know, welcome to always email us at info at uh, Let me see. Uh, before inviting her, let me go through some questions. If we have some questions, uh, anyone planning to do, planning to join on March to, to 2022? Uh, uh, some of them, it's quite early. However, uh, you know, you know, since the situation is not great, uh, coming in 20, 2022, actually it's next year. I thought it's two years later, but the next year, next year, March is, would be a good time to come. Not, not, not early at all, thank you, thank you. Okay. Is this learn Korean class? Oh, not today. Uh, before we invited uh, one, of the, one of the teacher from Hanyang University, but for today, it's more like Q&A about the how to live and study in Korea. So 
uh, today is Amy, sorry, today is not a Korean class, but maybe uh, later on, uh, we can do more about like learning Korean, studying Korean uh, from me or from the you know teacher from the university. Yeah. And here as well, uh, uh, thank you for joining from Peru. And then uh, I'm sorry, once again, I'm not a teacher uh, and <laughs> I'm not good looking. So now neither of it is like correct. <laughs> but anyway, today uh, more likely it's like more like giving you uh, basic information about the Dongguk University mostly. And then there would be some basic stuff about related to the COVID, vi uh, COVID virus as well as the life in Korea. Let me, be, doo, doo, doo. Uh, let me answer this question and I will in invite her. So is it uh, from the Shapiali? Is it necessary to take topic exam to enter Korea un Korean university? It's a yes and no. Uh, first thing first, uh, we, as a Gogo Hangu, we for now we are uh, introducing the Korean language course. So if you are referred that uh, you come here to study Korean, so it's not uh, required. However, let's say for example, if you are going to go to university or college in Korea, Korean university, Korean college, then it's kind of different story. And to answer that is yes and no. Some of the school needs the official topic uh, topic uh, scores. Some of them uh, are allow you to uh, join the university course after some studying uh, some uh, their their Korean course. So a university A. So there's a university this. So if you finish university, if you finish Korean course, oh, Korean course here, and then you might be able to go to the university course, university degree seeking master. Uh, after this. So there is a uh, different criteria. I hope I answer you. Okay, now is the time I will invite her. Uh, Georgia, right? Yeah. Please see, come here. Okay, today is that because of the time we don't really have many people over here, but uh, you know, I Instagram is always problem with the angle. So we need to be very friendly today. Mm. And okay. then, yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm, I'm from Italy and I came here at the end of August. Um, Almost? Yes. Summer time. Yeah. Now is winter time. Now is winter. <laughs> and, I mean, maybe, maybe. maybe later we will talk about weather in okay. Korea, <laughs> with, because it's it's really different from the city where I come from. I I come from Rome. Oh, uh, yes. Never been there. Uh, it's a beautiful city to visit. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> but actually, I prefer living here in Seoul. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I personally tried to go, actually last year, May, June, I tried to go, I booked everything, pretty much everything, hotel, flight, everything, and then the COVID-19 happened, mm -hmm. so I couldn't go. I'm very, uh, I was kind of, you know, very mad. That was the first destination for me to go to European country. Mm -hmm. So Rome, Italy was the first country, but <laughs> because the virus, I cannot go. Oh my God, at the time, the Italy was, the situation in Italy wasn't great, so that's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, every country, every country does. Sorry for interrupting you. So, okay, yeah. So you have been, you came here last August. Yeah, at the end of August, I I arrived the twenty seventh of August, mm. and and then I spent two weeks in quarantine. Mm. Uh, during which I couldn't go out. Uh, of course. The the hours I I rented actually Eddie helped me. Oh yeah, to the rent. place. Yes, oh the rent he, was, uh, he helped me with grocery shopping. Yes, I know. Yeah, I was mother, I, mother and father of her at the time for, for about two weeks. Yes. Yeah, because my phone didn't work mm. very well because I didn't have the time to set up a working phone because the, the moment I arrived to the airport, they actually sent me directly to the place where I was quarantined. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, um, was like me. Yeah. But it was okay. I mean, it was during um, 
the storm. Mm. So <laughs> it's I I couldn't have gone out anyway. So mm. I mean the rule is still here. So when you come to Korea, uh, the 14 days rule is still here. So you need to be quarantined, which means you cannot go out. Yeah. And the, all the things, like I said, like a uh, Two weeks ago, we, I did like a live streaming about the COVID like uh, a situation, like a uh, update kind of update how you should do. So basically, you need to be quarantined at home like 24 hours for 14 weeks. Uh, not for, oh my God, for 14 days, not 14 weeks, 14 days, and you need to feed yourself like uh, all the things like water, food. You need to kind of kind of deliver mm -hmm. out of uh, out of the your own room, your house. So that's why it wasn't easy. Uh, easy. So, so far has been almost uh, six months, pretty yes. much. At the end of February, it's going to be six months. So how do you like so far? I, I'm liking it a lot because the, so the situation here is way better than in Europe, back in Europe. So I could visit a lot of things. I, I actually went to the John. I oh. went outside Seoul. And here you can go to cinema, you can go to cafes, and you can enjoy yourself and your life. And I met many people, um, a lot of foreigners, mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, Korean people um, tend to, I, I don't want to say avoid you because mm -hmm. they, they try to help you but they 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 are not um uh, really confident in in their uh english skills so when they when they see uh, a foreigner they're like i don't speak english I'm so sorry. <laughs> but they are speaking english <laughs> they, they do they actually do and they understand a lot but they they think they're not able to speak in english mm. probably yeah, exactly. So it's kind of Korean thing. So when you do, or when you say like, I can speak English, you need to be like foreigners, like you're English, like American or like you're, I don't know, English, English people. So they want to be like perfect. Otherwise they wouldn't be comfortable to speak. Uh, of course, it's, uh, luckily it's changing. Uh, the young, young generations, they are able to you know speak English. However, you know, still like, you know, there is some people that, oh, I, can, I cannot speak English. Although they studied like over like 10 years. <laughs> but before coming here, uh, people were telling me like, um, you're going to have difficulties in, in uh, Korea because people don't like foreigners a lot, but it's not true. Like I had so many people helping me finding my, my way inside school or helping me at the bank or post office, they they are really really kind. If especially with foreigners, mm -hmm. if I look lost um, <laughs> on the road, uh, there's always at least one person uh, stopping by and trying to help me, even if they don't speak English very well. And I'm really grateful mm -hmm. about it. Yes. I, I found a really welcoming uh, environment here. Maybe because I'm in the capital, it's easier, obviously, because there's a lot of foreigners and probably Koreans are getting used to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and, and I also have Korean friends mm -hmm. right now. It's not easy right now because of the Corona situation. Uh, probably if there wasn't, this situation, it, it would be easier to mm. find Korean friends, especially going to university because right now classes are online. Mm. But my first three months were offline. Mm. So I actually went to school. So for, so you went to, you started basically like from the fall of 2020 and now it's winter term of from December of the 2020 and now. So since you mentioned the term and the, the class, uh, how do how do you like how do you like the Dungguk's class? I like them a lot. 
they, they, have, they are really, really organized. They have their books uh, and they give us books at the beginning of each term. And usually they are two books because during the term there's a midterm. So you have to pass the exam in order to finish the term. Uh, if not, you're not going to pass the <laughs> level. <laughs> but it's it's actually really, really funny. Like it, every teacher try to help you. If you don't understand something, they, they're not strict with you. Like you can ask whatever you want. There's no stupid questions here. Mm, of course, of course. Yes. So you you can ask whatever you want. And so the lesson every day are divided in uh, four mm -hmm. different things. They are like um, listening, speaking, uh, reading, and grammar. So, uh, and... I know this is the uh, less fun thing to say, but you have to study. Like, yeah, yeah. like you're coming here to study, not just to enjoy your life. So um, you have to study daily. I have homeworks daily and they are a lot. And <laughs> you have to study vocabulary, especially because especially if you start like me from level one, I didn't know anything at all about Korean or Korean language, just the alphabet, which could be smart uh, knowing the alphabet before coming in Korea, because everything is written in Angle, and it, it would be easier for you to already know the Korean alphabet. So, yeah, but all in all, the classes are really fun and I'm never bored. And even if I'm older than everyone in my class, uh, I, I feel like we connected with mm -hmm. the other classmates, especially when we went to university now it's a little bit more difficult because of the online classes obviously mm. but it's okay so since you mentioned many things and there are many good things so the class is very good uh, is there like some part uh, like for example some some people say this school is strong in like speaking this school is uh, mm. uh, good at like writing what do you feel like about the dongle class do you think this part or that I part think or, or all together I think Dongo try to uh, embrace every part uh, at the same time, but probably they are more uh, concentrated in speaking, mm -hmm. the speaking part, probably, especially at first levels, because they want you to be able to survive here in Korea. So, That's very good. <laughs> yes. So they, they usually start by teaching you how to manage going at uh, the bank mm. or post office or how to rent a house. So wow. it's something you can use daily. And they, they use the last hour of a class mm -hmm. to speak among each other. Mm -hmm. So you have to speak. You're coming here to speak. Even if you you're not confident in your Korean skill, uh, no one is, is going to reprimand you. you. You have to speak. You have to be confident. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that we always like to tell our future students, uh, you know, telling them, you know, uh, of course, you know, there are always, you know, things to you can enjoy by living in Korea. But in the meantime, if you are going to uh, uh, register for the Korean course, then you need to study. But many people like underestimate how how many like uh, how many times, how many hours, what uh, to study. So they always under underestimate. But the yeah. situation is real situation. You need to study hard. You need to study. Like I come from a languages background, 
So no. I know a lot of languages. That's I good. Know, I know how to study languages. So for me, it's a little bit easier because I know how to approach a new language. So probably it requires less time studying, but usually there's four hours of classes and then during the afternoon, because my classes are during the morning, but they can be during the afternoon as well. It depends from university to university. And usually during the afternoon, it, you need to dedicate mm. at least two hours mm. to study. Every day. Every day, yes. Probably the, the weekend is going to be freer. Mm -hmm. Like you, you can go around Seoul, you can visit museums because there's a lot of museums and they are free mm -hmm. for students. So, uh, but you, you need to come here with the mindset, uh, with the right mindset and knowing that you have to study and you have to dedicate a lot of time to study. I mean, that's good to answer the Melanie, Melanie's uh, kind of question as a uh, question and uh, saying, I'm from Mexico, I want to study in Korea. So when you come to Korea to study, then the class from the Donggo and any, any other school will have like an intensive mm -hmm. class. So you will study, so don't worry about it. So one of the things that uh, I always uh, get uh, questioned was uh, about like homework and midterm and final term. How was the Donggook's uh, homework uh, so, things? Uh, I have three books for homeworks and every day I have to do homeworks regarding the grammar points I studied during the class. So usually they are like between five to 10 pages of the book and then I have an application on my phone for vocabulary and I have to do a test every day with that in order to know the new vocabulary and being able to remember those words. So usually uh, homeworks are like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's sometimes that uh, teachers requires you to send voice messages or to listen to voice message yes wow. yes because we have a group on kakao talk mm -hmm. and they ask you to uh tell tell them about your weekend or your holiday so, so they have you speak korean yes even using the kakao talk yes <laughs> okay good that's good and midterm. So for Dongguk, because I don't know the other, mm -hmm. other university. I mean, I had friends coming from other universities, but I'm not attending mm -hmm. other language course. So um, at Dongguk, you have after um, around one month and a half, a midterm and and then after another month we have finals and usually if you don't pass the midterm you're going to follow the class but you're not going to pass the level <laughs> so you have to start studying from the beginning mm. of the term and then there would be final test yes and the test is divided in uh, uh, writing part with grammar and reading part and listening and mm. uh, speaking. So all part including. Yes. Wow. So you are, a current, you, start, you started from level one yes. and then now you are level two. Yes. So you passed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure 100%, <laughs> but that's good. Yes. That's good, okay. And also, uh, Bangkok University uh, gives out prizes if you are a really oh. student. So, so you got it? Yes. Oh my God, congratulations. 
<laughs> so can you tell me about the more about the prizes and the, oh, yes. why you get uh, it? We we did a uh, writing mm -hmm. uh, challenge during the first level, and I was first level writing Korean. Yes. Wow. But it was something easy, obviously, according to your level. Uh, <laughs> but you won the first place, so you were good at it. I I didn't win first place, mm. but uh, there were prizes until fifth place, mm. and I won third place. Okay, okay. And That's it good. was it was a, a Tumblr mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the university, so Tumblr with written on it. That's good. I mean, that's good. one of the things that, you know, uh, learning language, mm -hmm. learning new language from your personal experiences as well, is not easy. So you need to always be like motivated, like every hour, every day. So having those kind of prizes, having those like tests is very, uh, at the end of the day, is beneficial yeah. for you to encourage yourself uh, to keep studying. Yeah. Otherwise, in the middle of the term, oh my God, what I'm doing here, too hard. Mm -hmm. You know, it's totally different from what I'm expected, and I want to go home. It's cold. It's it's hot. It's cold. It's hot. It's cold. And then they will be <laughs> like, a, you know. And also, Dango, if you are the uh, the best of your level, so you have the best grade, you're going to obtain a scholarship. Mm. Which I, is? Do you know which is? Um, I mean, like ten percent or. I, I think 10% of, of the um, tuition. tuition yeah. Actually, one of the like, questions from before was the, about the scholarship always uh, for Dongu and any other schools. So, you know, having the scholarship is it's totally a little bit different from like uh, what we understood, what we uh, the scholarship that we understanding. Because scholarship is when you, when you like apply for the language course, mm -hmm. you will get it. Uh, but this college from the university, especially for the Korean language course, is totally different. So what it is, you need to be like a study hard, and then the next term, you will get something like 10% of the tuition or some prizes from the, you know, the Tumblr or like USB or some books or like a jacket, a school mm -hmm. jacket, those things. So the understand, uh, understanding about the scholarship is a little bit different. So uh, scholarship, there is a scholarship. However, you need to register first. And then you will get something, but you need to study hard. And you need then to... if you're good enough, yes. you're going to get the scholarship. Exactly. But you have to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> really, really good. Yes. <laughs> study really, really hard and really, really good. That's good. That's good. Uh, I guess, uh, what, how, about the, how about the teacher? One of the like, factors that when you study, one of the factors, one of the main factors and most, the most important factor was, uh, would be like the teacher. How, how was the teacher? So I, I had six different teachers because every level uh, we have three different teachers. And for the first level, they were really, really kind and they were helping you and they were trying to... Obviously, they, they don't speak English. They, they speak only Korean. Yeah, even from the uh, from the basic from level. the first yeah, from day, the first, yeah. from the first day, and but they are really kind and they they are not pressuring us uh, <laughs> to be able to speak in in <laughs> Korean from the first day, and my my teachers from the second level are as kind as the the other three mm. teachers. I think I also um, talked with different students here in um, in Danku University, and they say always the same thing. Mm. Teachers are really passionate, and mm. they are really good at teaching. They mm. they probably have a background of many years of teaching, so they know what they're doing and. The, the most important thing for me is being passionate because mm. it's four hours per day of Korean. And if the teacher is not passionate, you're not going to be involved in the class. Exactly. Yes. 
but so, so there are a couple of teachers even in the one level the the teacher has the like different like a teaching like for example a teacher a only teach like grammar teacher b only teach like uh speaking no no no, no. they they teach all four teams together mm. because every day we do a different chapter mm. so different grammar points different uh thing to read because they are preparing us for the finals mm. so yeah probably you you can tell by the way they concentrate on one part uh instead of the other if they prefer to teach speaking or uh, writing, for mm. example. But they they are good at teaching everything and they teach everything. That's good, that's good. And now it's 3 p.m., 3, 7 p.m. And this is Eddie. Uh, I was in the, like, a back and forth in the scene or not. But you two is okay. Uh, and this is Georgia from Italy, studying yeah. Donggung University. Uh, so we have been talking about the class and the teachers from the Donggung University. They are very good. But there is there is more like question to you uh, since you mentioned you have like background in language, like studying language and new language. But why did you want to learn uh, Korean? And then what do you want to do after like learning Korean? So my my languages of work are Chinese and Japanese, and I wanted to learn another Asian language. And I thought about Korean, mm -hmm. especially uh, before coming here and before contacting Dong, uh, Google Anguk, I made my researches and I, I thought about uh, finding a job in Asia and using the languages I knew already. So, uh, and I saw here in uh, in Korea they look for people then that know uh, European languages. Mm. So that's why I decided to come here in order one day maybe to find a job here. Mm. That's good. And then I hope uh, you know. Uh, learning language, of course, you, I guess, you studied like a uh, university or? Yes, I in, have in, a master's degree. In Italy, mostly? Uh, no, <laughs> I studied in a lot of countries. That's good. <laughs> yes, I studied in um, Italy, obviously, mm. in Canada, mm -hmm. in Belgium, in mm. England, and in Switzerland, and in France. Wow, but all Asian languages. Uh, I started with English and French. English and French, yeah. and you can speak like Chinese, Japanese, and now developing Korean. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you are here. So there are two questions I can, I'm very like passionate to ask you. So there are, you studied many like Asian languages. How do you feel about like compared to studying Japanese, studying Chinese, studying Korean mm -hmm. is easier, difficult? What, so, and why, maybe? Firstly, it depends which language you come from. So what is your native language? Um, and then it depends what you're considering. So mm -hmm. if you consider the grammar, Chinese is the most easy. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's the easiest. Mm -hmm. And if you consider like phonetic from an Italian point of view, because my mother tongue is Italian, mm -hmm. Japanese is the easiest Ooh. because phonetics is really similar. Mm -hmm. But if you consider the writing system, mm -hmm. then Korean is the easiest because it, it has Korean alphabet. Obviously, you when you go half levels, you have to study Chinese characters yes, as well. Yes, yes, yes. But you can survive just with the Korean alphabet just knowing that. So for me, Korean pronunciation is a little bit difficult mm -hmm. because it's really um, far from Italian mm -hmm. phonetics. But for example, I have a German friend mm -hmm. and for him is Korean pronunciation is easy. Mm -hmm. so, so each person's background and then 
uh, each language itself has like different kind of things. So there is no like, uh, this is easier, that is easier. Yeah. So it's a combination. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for me, the Korean grammar, because uh, usually people say Korean grammar is really difficult, but I, I had already Japanese mm -hmm. grammar in my brain. So for me... Which is a similar to Korean. Yes. So for me, Korean grammar wasn't really difficult and it's not really difficult. <laughs> so to solve that problem, you need to study Japanese first and then you can study Korean <laughs> <laughs> to make it easy. <laughs> no, no, no. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> just come here and be confident. And if you have some difficulties, you can ask teachers, you can ask friends, you can ask like the lady in the convenience store, you can ask <laughs> to anyone. That's very good. That's very good. The other question related to the language. How do you uh, feel like, you know, since you master in like linguistic all the things, learning new language in Korea, like a Korean, learning Korean in Korea, learning Korean in like a Italy, or mm -hmm. it's like many differences and why yes. you think? Obviously. Um, I think coming here was really the best idea because I'm obviously surrounded by Korean and I'm forced to use Korean. I was here for just six months and I can already speak mm. on a certain level, like speak with Korean people. Obviously, I can't speak about rock and science. <laughs> <laughs> Same to me. <laughs> I cannot speak that. But I, I, for example, I studied Chinese while I was in Canada. Mm -hmm. And if, even if I was living in a Chinese community, so I was surrounded by Chinese people. It wasn't the same as being and living in the country where the language is spoken. Mm -hmm. So I think the best idea if you want to study a language is going to the country. Yes. That's very good. That's very good. And uh, you know, I know that uh, you know one of something. Uh, that people nowadays asking about uh, like the situation in Korea, of course, like globally. So, of course, there are like a COVID-19 situation globally. However, uh, how do you feel like uh, coming, you know, in these, these days, in this time, it's like you made like a right choice to come to Korea and why? So, <clears throat> I, I decided to come because I, I wanted to, to come sooner because mm -hmm. I I was already 26 <laughs> and I didn't want to waste time but if you can wait probably it it would be best to wait until the situation is a little bit clear mm -hmm. like in Korea the situation is really is is the best like I was coming from Europe and the situation here in Korea is completely different everything is is organized and managed in a different way um, you feel safe here because every time i go for example i live in the dorm mm -hmm. here in dongguk university and every day they measure my temperature and if i have like a fever or something they're going to call a doctor mm -hmm. and they're going to test me and every time I go somewhere like a cafe or a restaurant I have to leave my phone number and my name and my address mm. that way they can find you again if they find someone positive in the place where you was when where you were mm. so I since I, I came here, I felt really safe. Mm -hmm. Everyone is wearing a mask. Yes, yes. And it, it's really different from, from the situation in Italy because I wasn't uh, somewhere else during the pandem pandemic. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How was the arrival? Like, of course, is now uh, the rule might be different from when you come, mm -hmm. when you came. 
But when you arrive in Incheon, how was the process like uh, to come into so, like dormitory or it, quarant quarantine place? Right? Yes, it was amazing. I, I thought it was amazing because I arrived. So um, there's a window of time uh, in which every uh, passenger of a flight has to be registered mm -hmm. at their arrival and then they will help you to download uh, an app mm -hmm. uh, that you have to use during quarantine right. uh, during the morning and the afternoon you have to measure your temperature and you have to tell them if you have a sore throat or a cold or you feel uneasy or something and then I I was able to buy a ticket for a bus. Mm -hmm. They asked me where I was quarantined and they were organizing like groups of buses. Mm -hmm. if, if you like if you don't want to take a taxi because you can take a taxi, but if you don't have many money, much money, uh, you can go. Uh, with shuttles or buses, and they're going to bring you to your place of quarantine. Mm -hmm. So without paying uh, a large amount of money. Mm -hmm. So they were, I, I waited a lot, obviously, because mm -hmm. it, um, it had to be organized. Uh, I waited maybe around three hours, wow. but they... Uh, let me go directly to my address of mm. quarantine. And then after two, no, the day after, I went to take my COVID test. Mm. And then probably less than 48 hours later, they gave me the results. So it was amazing. I was amazed. <laughs> I mean, it would be it, it it could be much like easier, you know, without the virus. But with the virus, you know, we take it very seriously mm -hmm. uh, from the you know outside of Korea. Uh, I always tell like you know, uh, Korea never like uh, people coming in from outside. Of course, there are some countries that cannot totally can cannot come, but mostly uh, many countries, if they have like a uh, valid visa and with like purpose, then they can come, they can welcome to come. But still there is some regulation uh, to protect yourself and also the Korean people as well. So there is uh, uh, some hiccups in between, but still you guys can come. And then Fernanda asked to, you know, ask the, us uh, if we have to have done the, the quarantine. Yes, uh, so everyone, not just only her, yeah. even for me, I think if I go out and the coming back, the process would be uh, pretty much the same. Pretty much same. Or maybe the line might be a little bit different when I go, uh, when I pass the passport. And other than that, all the steps are same. So the second question about the COVID nineteen situation, we I think we have only ten minutes left. Oh my god! Uh, so how is life in Korea with the COVID uh, COVID situation? Oh. You have can you can you enjoy some? Yes. Yes. When I arrived, the situation was a little bit better. So there were less cat, uh, cases. So uh, we had like cinemas open, uh, clubs. If you want to go out during the night, uh, I don't. But <laughs> probably because I'm older, <laughs> I don't know. But the the situation is it it was better. And then. During December, everything was closed, uh, but you could still go to restaurants, you could still go to shopping malls, so you can still enjoy yourself, like going to parks and going to shopping malls and going to cinemas now because the situation is better again. So unless you want to go outside every night, which I don't, uh, suggest because the day after you have to study. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like a mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. But that's the kind of situation. And then you know, life in Korea is totally different from the people. Uh, you know, you need to have your own goal. 
when you come to Korea. It could be mostly for, for our service users, mostly for improving their Korean skills and also like meeting friends or making friends or like a tours here in their cities, cities in Korea as well. Even, you know, possibly uh, doing, I don't know. Anyway, so you need to have your own goal uh, to, you know, when you, in, when you are in Korea. So one of the things you want to eat, you want to achieve was, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, improving your Korean skill. In order to do that, do that, you know, you need to study hard. There is one question. Let's answer it together. So from the Fernanda, right now with the virus and you are applying for the university, where did you do quarantine? Like in home or deji, deji, oh. designed address from from the government? So I guess she's asking where you have been, yeah. where you quarantine. So there's there's two way to quarantine, uh, three ways. If you have an address here in Korea, like you have your parents here or friends, you can quarantine with them. But if you go in a house with someone else, uh, you have to spend the first three days before doing your test, your COVID test inside the governative um, structures. Um, take the test and then if you're negative you can go there if you are positive you're going to spend the rest of your quarantine inside the governative uh, structures or hospital uh, the second way is going to the governor governative uh, structures for two weeks and everything is organized you are in hotels and they will bring you uh, food and they will test you but is a little bit expensive mm. like around I don't I, I know how so, to say it in, in euro it was around 1500 euros so yeah around one 1800 American dollars so and then you can do what I did with the help of Eddie and Google and Google, uh, you can rent um, a place where you can quarantine. So I went there and I spent 14 days alone mm -hmm. there. So for the rules is every day is changing also the price as well. Now, now uh, nowadays the government facility will ask for, I think uh, 13,000 US mm -hmm. dollar. So every time it's different. So asking us would be much easier or more yeah. accurate. In the meantime, you know, where you are going to stay is going to be depending on the visa. So which visa you have, what kind of visa you have, how long you will, you will study, uh, you will stay in Korea is going to be like a, a different. So uh, if you want to know more about, you can always email us and you can watch what I did like two weeks ago about the like, quarantine process, the price, uh, those things like taxi and bus to get to the, your accommodation. So you can check uh, check out from the, our Instagram or YouTube channel. We have, I think, five minutes left. Uh, what else I should ask you? Mm. I think we can just like summarize everything. So uh, what do you want to do after the... This term. So after this term, I I paid for uh, four four terms. So I'm going to study until the end of uh, August and hopefully reach level four, four. And and then my student visa will expire. So I will go back to Italy and I will try to come back here maybe next year and find a job uh, I don't know we'll we'll see because I need someone to sponsor my, my visa so. yes yes <laughs> so the working visa is totally working working visa is a totally different visa I think then like visitors or student visa mm -hmm. there would be somebody some company uh, that support uh, the visa in Korea I guess it's uh you know depending on also you know the job as well so for now, I guess you are going to uh, focusing on more likely improving uh, Korean skills. Uh, 
uh, all the afternoon session for levels one and two. Actually, here in Dongguk, uh, level one and two were meant to be during the afternoon, but uh, since there's not a lot of students, uh, every six level is during the morning. So my classes are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Four hours per day, four hours per day. And then, you know, depending on how many people in Donggu and then the situation, the coronavirus situation. So it could be different when you come. So it is, it's best idea to always contact us, uh, ask us. Uh, even for us, we need to check the, with the school. Uh, you know, next time, how you guys want to do, yeah. like or by online, offline, a.m., p.m. So uh, you can ask us always, you know, any questions so that I can check it out and then get back to you. Uh, you know, get back to you, try to right away. And uh, okay, I mean, uh, there are some questions that we can cover, we cannot cover today. Uh, I, let me uh, let me answer this one uh, from the YouTube channel. How long are the Korean classes, like uh, six months? So it's gonna be depending on how many terms you wanna study. Well, uh, she did like four terms, so it's, yeah. which means like one year. And one term would be, Two months now. 10 weeks. Yeah. 10 weeks. And then there are uh, pretty much same. Every school has like a level from level one to six. Level one to six. So, yeah. And you can start from level one or taking a um, level test and then going to your fitting level. Everything is online due to COVID or offline? For now, yes, online course. Yes. Until at least until February 14th, everything is still online. And then we're waiting for uh, the government to say yes, something. Please. <laughs> so, because uh, the situation is different depending the city where you go. Like, for example, uh, Seoul is a little bit stricter mm. right now because there's a lot more of people. Yes, it's a huge city. Yes. So it same, like when you come uh, last year, full term, it was offline. Yes. So you can meet the teacher in person, yes. you, you can meet your classmate in person, but for, for this time, you know, afraid, uh, I'm afraid, you know, it's gonna be online. And also, uh, I don't know the other universities, but Dongguk offers online classes. So, for example, during my first level, there were uh, three students from China and they were online, mm. even if we were offline. So, probably mm. there's going to be someone online only. Mm. So, depending on the nationality and the situation in that country, mm. uh, it could be like partially offline and online in, yes. like, mixed up. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's something, you know, we need to be careful, protect yourself and protect others from the virus. So that's, I guess, made a good choice. You know, you cannot take that risk. Okay. Last question to you. Yeah. Any tips for those who want to study Korean in Korea? Tips yes. to study. Yeah. Um, so first, uh, it's best, best to study the Korean alphabet before coming here. Uh, if you start from level one, you don't have to study anything at all, just the Korean alphabet, and then they're going to tell you everything and to teach you everything. You, there's going to be uh, probably uh, topics that you don't like or they're, they, they are more boring than others, but you have to stay uh, on the on there on in class. You have to follow. You have to uh, leave everything outside, and you don't have to be shy because mm -hmm. everyone is at your level. Yes, everyone. So they're not going to judge you. People I I met. Uh, very kind people, and even if I uh, do a lot of mistakes, 
uh, teachers are going to help me and correct me and they're not going to tell me, oh, you're not going to uh, be able to speak in Korean like ever. <laughs> I mean, you know, when we do the like a counseling with the student, you know, the price that we tell them like, this is tuition, this is like how much you need to spend, this is flight probably about flight, flight uh, price. And then you will be shocked how much you pay for it. And then when you come, it's kind of totally different story. So you pay like same tuition, same fee, or a little bit more, who knows. But you need to take all the like, uh, you know, all the things, you need to take all the things, you know, you, you need to like, uh, you know, interact with teacher and bugging the teacher yeah. as teacher, you know, so that you can pay for the tuition, you know. So that's something I always, you know, try to empathize uh, for those who will come yeah. in the future. And then maybe if there's someone that already knows how to speak in Korean or is maybe starting from level two or level three, you can, if you're coming here in Dongguk University, you can start like maybe writing something uh, on a diary, like <coughs> I did this during the weekend or I did that, or I want to do this, I want to do that, because it's going to help you a lot, especially during level three. Yeah. That's good, um, that's good. Okay, well, I have one uh, last favor to you. So, since you are Italian, yeah. there would be some Italian watching in Italy, Rome, who knows? Can you say something about them in Italian, please? In, oh, something to them in Italian? Yes, like you need to study hard. Dongguk is great, you know, the oh. teachers are amazing. We are Gogo Hanguk is amazing. So <laughs> take, you know, use us, something like okay. I will. I will try to understand it. I will try. Okay. Um. Se, se siete in Italia e avete voglia di studiare le lingue asiatiche dovete andare sul posto, specialmente il coreano, qua in Corea si sta benissimo, non dovete per forza venire a Seoul ma potete anche andare a Busan, a Daegu, eh, sono città bellissime, io le ho visitate e soprattutto le persone sono molto amichevoli, non dovete preoccuparvi, non dovete ascoltare quello che dice la gente perché veramente sono molto 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 gentili e, e vi divertirete qui anche se c'è da studiare, c'è da studiare tanto, lo dico soprattutto agli italiani perché non vogliono studiare, <ride> però c'è anche da divertirsi. Grazie mille. <ride> Okay, thank you so much, Georgia, for thank today. Thank you for having me. I take one hour, more than one hour from you. <laughs> thank you so much for your honest uh, answer. And as well as, you know, uh, you know, for us, we sometimes we also join the class. However, we never know. Uh, you know, you are like taking course like for four hours per day. Mm -hmm. So listening from you would be like much live and the live, you know, mm -hmm. comments about the school, Dongguk University, why you you are like, you know, you want you you want to study in Dongu and the why the teacher is great, how they are working. So uh, this is something like it, it's partially it's some part of the you know experiences from from you. So thank you so much for sharing the information and idea and you know you need to study. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. So, the most important thing is study. Yes, that's good. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. See bye. you next time. Maybe uh, next, uh, in two weeks, maybe, uh, I want to do another live streaming. Uh, this time, I'm thinking to cover some prices. You know, since we mentioned the tuition and the, you know, the, the li living cost or like transportation, like telephone, those like price, always like beneficial to know. So maybe in two weeks, uh, I will turn on the live streaming. Uh, without her, only me, so stay tuned. So, bye-bye, bye-bye, thank you, thank you. So